Sibram Konto Alaye Sibram Konto Alaye Shoot to kill Kilawa Shoot to kill Namaza Kiss the poor The farmer Kiss the poor The farmer Brr pa Pa Brr pa Part of our MK guerrillas were called Nyamazan. It was their combat name. So when we say shoot to kill Nyamazan, we are commanding Nyamazan to shoot and kill. The message in the chant is very clear. Shoot to kill, kill Nyamazan means shoot to kill the enemy forces who are standing in between us and our freedom. If I want to sing my Lord, kill the boa, kill the farmer, I will sing it. I said to you, I don't sing it. It doesn't mean I will not sing it. I can sing it. Anyone who sings it will be well justified to sing it. Let's not make mistake about it. It's not like we were just singing in J. We were singing with a clear conscience in our mind that if opportunity prevails, we will bomb the union building. The complainant has led evidence of someone whose wife was murdered in front of him and who's now paralyzed. He testified in this court. And he said whenever he hears that song, it brings back the memory of that day. He broke into tears in this court. That is trauma. That is legitimate trauma. Is your claim, would, would, does that trauma, does that evidence motivate you to stop singing the song? No. But you will not respond to legitimate pain of someone who's been traumatized by hearing you chant, kill the boy, kill the farmer. I said I'm not moved. Yes. I'm mo I said I'm not moved. Let me repeat five times. I'm not moved by that case you brought here. I am not moved. And if that will make me lose a case, let me lose it. I'm not moved. You said what we need is a system in place to get rid of white people. Is that correct? Yes. What would so, that mean to get rid of white people? So if we go into a conference and we go or into parliament and make a constitutional uh, amendment that all whites must be driven to the sea and any white who remains here is going to be killed. Then we engage in that type of a, a program to drive all whites uh, to the sea. It's an institutionalized decision. This is an extract from your speech in Newcastle on the 7th of November um, where you stated this phrase. We are not calling for the slaughter of white people, at least for now. So you're saying you are not ruling out that in the future you may very well call for the slaughter of white people. It may not be me. Could it be you? It could be me. If I asked you to pledge to say, I will never call for the slaughter of white people, would you make that pledge? I will do it with ease. Make that pledge. Why would I do that? I'm asking you to make that pledge. I don't, you I said I will do it. I, I won't do it. Make the pledge. I won't do it. You won't do it. Madiba coerced us into reconciling with people who have never been one with. That was a myth. It is unrealistic. You can't reconcile if you have never been together. In April 2010, Leon Kukumur, at the age of 39, was attacked on his farm near Kalnan in Gauteng. The attackers screamed the words, Die, white man, die, viva Malema, as they were attacking Kukumu. In June 2014, Knowledge, Paulus and Glazi, 28, admitted to murdering five white farmers in three months between March and June 2014. Quote, my hate for white people made me do it, he said. He described his conduct as merely going to work and boasted in the courtroom about the fact that he had six murders under his belt. You'd stated earlier that there are no murders of white people. What you say you mean by that is they are just murders. Now, I've given you two examples where the contention is that these are racially motivated. There's no problem of white people being killed. There's no problem of farmers being killed. Are you willing to condemn the murder of white people? No, I'm willing to condemn murder, not of white people. On 6th of March, 2009, Alice Lotta at the age of 76 and her daughter Helen at the age of 57 
were tortured to death on their farm in Allen Bridge near Volcom in the Free State. Their home was several hundred meters from the Allen Ridge police station. Both women were tortured for hours, being stabbed with broken glass bottles in their vaginas. One of the women also had her breasts cut off while she was still alive. Ellen's injuries were so extreme that the medical examiner was unable to tell if she had also been raped. Alice had been stabbed in the neck and throat and had drowned in her own blood. Their blood was used to write the words, kill the Boer on the walls of their homestead. The torturers who tortured this mother and daughter to death and then wrote the words, kill the Boer in blood, were they in a position of power over those two women? My Lord, we don't know if they are farmers. We don't know their social standing. We don't know their relationship to the means of production. And at the face value, if you present it like that without those facts to me, it's murder. Now that just shows me how sick and twisted your ideological position is. You've said in order to work out whether there's a power relationship, you need to know if those women are working class. That is outrageous. It's so obvious to every person in this court that a person who tortures another person to death exercises power over them. And you will not acknowledge that. Can you not see the problem with that? No, I never said I'm someone moderate. I'm very radical and very militant. And I make no apology about that. And I stand by everything I said. My Lord, let them play you the old video. I said, and I remember it very well, there's no farm murder. There are no white people being murdered in South Africa. Would you embrace violence as a process to decolonize in South Africa? Colonialism is violent. It's like racism. And the only way to deal with violence, you must be violent. Therefore, there is nothing wrong in engaging in a revolution and uh, want to be suggesting that you can be engaged in violence. Revolution itself is violent. You would uh, be happy to then endorse the use of violence for your revolutionary aims? My Lord, when the time comes and the conditions on the ground necessitate that arms must be taken, we'll do so without hesitation. I'm not scared of death. I'm not scared of death. Scared? I don't know why I'm still alive. Are you scared of I killing? I died a long time ago. Are you scared of killing? I'm not scared of killing. A revolutionary is a walking killing machine. Not scared of death. If that need arise, I will kill. And I will do so with no hesitation. I'm going to be president of this country. Whether you like it or not. And I will preside over the affairs of this country. Including presiding over you. I think you must start adjusting to that reality. The sooner you do that, the less chest pains you'll have when that reality comes.